name is Elliot Compton. I fight out of EMT Brisbane, Fairtex Bank Lee. I've had 24 fights, 18 wins, five losses, and one draw. I've always wanted to fight at Lumpini Stadium as it's kind of seen throughout the world as the home of Muay Thai. And um, you know, there's a lot of history at Lumpini Stadium, so to fight there is really a, a great opportunity and it's been a, a dream that I've had since I first started fighting many years ago. And the goal of Elliot's has always been to fight at Lumpini Stadium, um, especially representing the likes of Fairtex, which um, it's been a huge goal for him for a long time. We've been coming back to Bangplea now for the last three years or so. He's had a few visits here. He's fought at Tepresit in Pattaya before, um, knocked out the guy there. Um, so at the end of a, a big year, 2012 for Elliot, we got the call from Fairtex offering us an opportunity to fight at Bumpini, representing them. I've been coming to Fairtex frequently now for the last few years and I train with Nung every time I'm, I'm here. Uh, Nung's a great trainer, great pad work, very experienced. He's been around for a very long time, he knows the sport inside out. Uh, he's taught me a lot of good tricks and um, filled me full of confidence ready for my fight last night at Lumpini Stadium. When I first arrived here at Fairtex Bank Lee, uh, I thought the fight was scheduled for 69 kilos as we, we've spoken through email. But due to a misunderstanding, um, the promoter came back and said that he wanted me to fight at 67. With only a few weeks notice, that 67 was a, a very tough weight cut for me. 69 was already going to be pretty tough, but that extra two kilos, as any fighter would know, the last two kilos is always the hardest. So we actually programmed that in for a weight cut. Um, turns out that they actually wanted 67 um, at the last minute, pretty much, last week or so, which was a tough ask. Um, I don't know if it's the climate or the food, but um, yeah, it was the hardest weight cut I've ever seen Elliot do. Um, I was running day in, day out with a sweatsuit on, morning, afternoon, eating next to nothing, and, um, not drinking much, and I, I managed to sweat out, and I, I got down to 67, I weighed in on the dot, and um, I was really at my limit, and um, I bounced back strong, and I fought well, and I, and I won. So I'm glad that I, um, I took the challenge and really pushed myself to get to that 67 mark. Fighting at Lumpini Stadium was a totally different experience to what I'm used to back fighting in, in Australia. I fought in Thailand before. Uh, I don't think that any other stadium has the same atmosphere as Lumpini Stadium had. You know, in, the, in the lead up to the fight, out of the back in the dressing rooms, getting my hands stra strapped up, shadow boxing to warm up, and getting massaged with the oil. Um, all the other ties around watching, you know, it was, um, it was a great experience. Round one started pretty slow. We um, just kind of did a feeling out round. You're not gassing, it's all good. No, just gotta lift that pressure a little bit now. Yep. I'll help your work rate a little bit, all right? Okay, some pressure on. Start going with those hands long when he comes in. Round two, we stepped it up a little bit, a bit more power involved from both of us, a few head kicks and body kicks. Uh, I think I caught and swept him once or twice.
just let him go, mate, right from the start. Yeah. And you've got to put the pressure on him, mate. Yeah. You're too many singles. He's throwing a single, you're throwing a single. You, when you're putting the combinations on him, you're hitting right cross, left rip to the body. Yeah. And you stand at that range where he can kick you. That's all he's got is that right kick and that left jab. Okay. But pressure. Get out of the way of the jab and put pressure. Yeah. Right? You've got to start lifting your work right now, mate. Okay. Uh, third round. Uh, we tied up and he hit me with a big elbow. I remember turning and letting a spin elbow go, which, which, which knocked him out. Um, to win by a spinning elbow in the third round at Lumpini Stadium is just the, the icing on the cake really. It's the, it's the best way to, to win at such a famous stadium that's highly regarded all over the world. I couldn't be happier with the result, to be honest. Um, to, to win by knockout, especially in the third round with a spin elbow, is an ultimate achievement. Like I said, my, my goal ever since a small, small kid, when I first started training, was to fight at Lumpini Stadium. So to be able to fight and win by, by a knockout, it's just the ultimate goal and I, I couldn't be happier. My father, Steve Compton, he's been my trainer back in Australia now for since, since I was about four years old. Uh, he was there last night ringside with me. It's always comforting knowing I'm fighting there with him in my corner. I know that he's always got my best interest at heart. And, um, we make a great team together, we train hard together, we fight hard together, and um, always have done and always will do. So yeah, it was just a great night, you know, thanks to Fairtex, particularly thanks to Mr. Wong and all the team at Fairtex, thanks to Nung, his trainer, um, awesome facility here, every time we come here, we treat it like part of the team. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Mr. Wong and the crew here at Fairtex Bang Pli uh, for all the, the time and hours that they put into me. I want to thank my team at EMT Brisbane, my father Steve Compton, my trainer Sean Hannum, um, my sparring partners Adrian Pang, Blair Studley and uh, the boys at Nuggets Thai Boxing Gym, as well as Integrated Martial Arts. I want to thank all my sponsors back home that um, helped get me to where I am today, all my supporters, and uh, mostly my family for being so supportive throughout my whole career so far.